Good morning. I am actually down the hall today. I'm on an interview committee. So today we're going to be looking at water scarcity. So we've talked about freshwater resources and how the amount of freshwater resources is only about 3% of all the water on the earth, which is 70% of our earth, and that we can only tap into about 1% of that. So remember that yesterday you were to complete your Padlet. So if you didn't get that finished or you were absent, be sure you go over to the 412 link where you can make sure and finish your freshwater article, listen to it or watch the two videos and complete the Padlet. And you have also completed your Flipgrid. If you didn't do your Flipgrid yesterday, you need to get your Flipgrid done, but I don't want you to take longer than five minutes to do that. What we are doing today I expect that it is finished by the end of the period tomorrow. So do not spend 20 minutes trying to make a one minute video to answer two questions about uh, water inequality around the world. Why is it that not everybody has the same rights to fresh water? So today you're going to be doing your activator, which is 413 and it is right on the screen page for today. Um, when you go to your home and you click on the today link for 413, you can see that I've linked it here. It's also in your upcoming. So you're going here to Southwest Asia and North Africa. So this area right here. And here you can see your resources. And then you're going to scroll through your questions. And it says, which of the following are natural resources found in Saudi Arabia? Check all that apply. So if it says that, there could be more than one correct answer. So simply check those that apply. Uh, which of the following natural resources are found in Iraq? Again, check all that apply. So find Iraq on the map, see what natural resources it has. Uh, which natural resource seems to be the most widespread? So as you're looking throughout all of these countries, which one seems to be reoccurring? Okay, so again, you're looking at the white countries. Those are the areas of concern. And in which countries can zinc be found? So look for zinc on your key and then go find that symbol throughout your countries and check all the countries that have zinc as a natural resource. And then finally, in which countries can you find fish as a natural resource? So again, check all that apply. So just a thought here for you. When we talk about fish, are we actually looking on the land? Do fish um, swim on land or do they need to swim in water? So you need to think about that and how that would affect the country's natural resource, who would have that. All right, so once we finish up uh, the activator, five minutes, ten, five minutes for activator, and then everybody's submitting. And we're moving on. So we are going to be doing today water scarcity. So we've talked about fresh water. We've talked about water inequality. We have gone out and simulated what it's like to have to go find your fresh water or what could become fresh water. Um, after treating it. And today we're going to look at the global issue of water scarcity. Why is water scarce around the world? So you have two options here. You can either read the article by clicking this link here or you can listen to the article. Okay, so this is the article here um, in recording version. So if you want to listen to it, it's right here. Click here if you want to read it. You are also going to be taking notes as you read. You're going to use these notes to build an informational poster. That poster can only be one page. So when you are ready for that part, I've given you some amenities that you can choose from. Actually, you can choose whatever you'd like to use. It's up to you. So if you've used something, like I know some of you have, you have sent me things throughout the year saying, Miss Penny, try this, or Miss Penny, this is a great poster maker. Um, now's your chance to teach me something new, okay? So here's some things that I put on here that we have used in the past. We've used Canva, we've used Push My Wall, we've done Pick the Chart. Of course, PowerPoint, we've done Satori, we've done things in forms, we've done Sway, and again, anything that you'd like to introduce us to, that could be something you do now. So first, we're going to open this guide right here. So if you would please open this document and choose to enable it so you're able to use it. And when that document opens, you will see this is what you're looking for in the article. So it says, read or listen to the article carefully, record the information below using the text. 
So what is water scarcity? I expect for you to answer that here. What is water scarcity? And no, I'm not looking for you to just go Google an answer and put it here. I want you to use the article to help you find what this these answers are, okay? Because you're going to be explaining this to us in your informational. How many people worldwide do not have access to clean water every day according to the article? And then you are looking for three causes of water scarcity. According to the article, what are three main causes that make water scarce around the world? And then once you have figured out those causes, based on that cause, what is that affecting? What's, what's that causing to happen? What's the result of that particular water scarcity issue? Okay, so you're looking for your three causes and your three effects. Once you have that finished, you are then ready to use that information to create a poster. That poster is going to be um, one page, and I want you to go above one page. I want you to um, use your information that you collected from your informational uh, graphic organizer that we just did. And so when you're here at the assignment, you are going to use a combination of visuals and text to convey your information. Make sure your information is in reader-friendly terms and written by you, no copy and pasting. Okay, so you have your rubric here to tell you what I'm looking for. So today and tomorrow is our time to complete water scarcity. So do not waste your class time. Because at the end of the day tomorrow, I will be expecting that you are ready to turn in your poster. Okay, so again, use link 413, complete your activator. Do not spend more than five minutes finishing up Padlet and or Flipgrid. And complete your water scarcity article and collecting the information onto your graphic organizer. If you finish that, you are working on your choice of a, a digital document to create me an informational poster about water scarcity. All right, have a great one.